How you doing? This is Gilda Graham. And Kristen McCoy. And we're the Red Carpet Fashionistas. So, recently we went to an event called Artists for Humanity, which was a charity event. In fact, one of your first red carpets is probably going to be a charity event because there's so many of them in town. And they're really great. I mean, you're not just going to a red carpet to be fabulous, but you're actually going to support and or give money and um, uh, support a great cause. It's a great place to start from. And the reason why is because you can do a lot of practice interviews there and practice walking the red carpet. Those are so important. Basically, go to a charity that you'd really want to go to. Abs yeah, don't, don't go, go to one, to one go that to. you don't want to go to. Yeah. Why would you do that anyway? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's so many other red carpet events out there. Don't use a charity just for yourself. Do it because you want to be there for the charity. At this particular red carpet, we saw a lot of celebrities. And one of them was Jocelyn Pennywell from America's Next Top Model. She was a contestant. Lovely lady. I learned a lot of tips and tricks from her for red carpets because she does them all the time and it's part of her, her life. And if you look closely at some of the pictures where I'm in it and she's in it, you can tell we have similar dresses, but hers look so much better because she actually had a stylist to tell mm. her how to wear it and what to do. Yeah. One other person that we got to meet was Lawrence Beeman from America's Got Talent, and the ironic story about this is the night before, I was at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, and I looked over, and my friend goes, oh my gosh, isn't that that guy from America's Got... I was like, who? And then, then, and then I was like, oh, and I went over, you know, we talked to him, and he's a really nice guy. And then that night, we were at the carpet, and I was like wait a second, I saw you at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles last night. He's like, hey, what's up? So it was really funny, but he's a really cool guy, and his family is really nice and very supportive of him and his career. Hollywood is actually a very small town. While we were on the carpet, we also met Mariano Mendoza. And he is uh, the one-man war. He's a professional MMA fighter. This is actually my first red carpet first that I ever carpet. went to. It's <laughs> It was really funny looking back at the pictures because I literally looked like I was a rocker with my black heels, my black leggings or tights Tight. they really. Were they were leggings were actually in and tight, tights, tights were, not, were not. And they weren't even in at the style at that time. So <laughs> and, and, and my red short tunic dress that was so tight, my... <laughs> I don't even want to go there. Some of your so, best advice on this on this YouTube channel has actually been make sure you take a picture of yourself in the dress before you buy it and or after you've purchased it before you wear it on the red carpet because then that way you can see how you look. And I think maybe you should have taken that advice back then. I should have taken that. I wish that I had somebody like us telling yeah. me what to do mm -hmm. when, you know, it was time for my first, you know, time on the red carpet. My boobs look flat. They, they just, mm -hmm. you know... Don't look like I have any. As a woman, you always want to look like you have something. Oh, at least you always want to look like you have a. You know, yeah. You took the words right out of my mouth. Remember, when you're at a charity event, when you get interviewed, plug the charity. Yes. Meaning, meaning, always talk about it in a positive way. Why you're there? Why you're happy to be a part of this event? And each interview change it up a little bit because the last thing you want to do is go home and then a couple days later look at all your YouTube videos and it's like <laughs> all oh, the same. <laughs> I'm Kristen McCoy and I'm here for this charity and you just it's so, it gets boring. So think of something different. Think of new words, you know. And also, um, you know, like she said, just plug the charity because that's why you're there. It's not about you. It's about the charity. Well, that's all for today. And thanks for joining us again. Au revoir.